emptying from the trash can all the time. The name of this trash can is ideology. I first realized that I was a piece of shit guitarist that would always be a piece of shit guitarist when I was about 23 years old. I was watching a music video, some pop-ass band calling themselves punk that seemed in no way even remotely punk to me. Couldn't tell you who it was. And I thought to myself, I could probably work this song out. It doesn't seem very complicated. But when I watched the guitarist, I realized they were playing... With chord fingering, I recognized in a completely different part of the neck of the guitar because they were playing it to a different key. But the reason they'd done it was because the singer had just sung a different note. And they were playing along to harmonize with the singer using a fingering that would allow for a sound, something like a chord I'm familiar with, somewhere else. I realized I had no idea how to do that. And even if I practiced considerably more than I ever planned to practice, I would never be able to do that. The singer has co total control of their voice and sort of knows what things sound like and makes a sound out of their body that they're sort of familiar with. A guitar is not like that. A guitar is an instrument that generates a tone cardiphonically. That means that the tone that it generates is based on the vibration of the strings. And those strings, their vibrations are picked up by um, humbuckers, readers, these motherfuckers. And they designate, based on the vibration of the string, what the sound should be. So they don't have that level of control. You have to know where in the neck you're going to put your fingers and how you're going to hold the strings in order to change the way that the strings will vibrate in order to control the sound. So it's obviously easier for a guitarist to plan something and do something, and then for a vocalist to adjust based on what happens. To do it the other way requires a level of mastery over the guitar that I wouldn't have even if I had practiced. Kurt Cobain probably did. But the reason why I'm talking about that is because I realized understanding something on a theoretical level like music is a tremendous shortcut. If you can see how these things work in the world, you start to realize that there is a whole other level beyond. Dunning-Kruger, which is something else that people who are familiar with me are going to get sick of hearing me talk about, was a study that pointed out that people have a tendency, until they are so familiar with how something works, under the arrogant assumption that they understand it. But until you start to study it, you don't realize how ignorant you are, because you couldn't have known how much there still was to learn until you broke the surface. Just like I didn't realize, unless I was going to spend an awful lot of time trying to figure it out for myself the hard way, or studied music theory to be able to figure out how to do things like that, I was never going to be very good. And I have to learn to accept who I am and what my limitations are. Some of that time has to be sacrificed. And there will obviously be more to talk about in that regard when a certain someone is finished with a certain book. Thank you for your time.